Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we did the rest of Rosalina's storybook and we did a little bit of Seaside. In this episode, hey you, yeah you, got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness. We're gonna do this hungry Luma. He needs a thousand, they need a thousand rather, which we obviously e easily have. Now. Again, I'm not 100% sure on this. I'm pretty sure there's one more Hungry Luma. Just fairly certain. And if there's not, like, wow, gee golly, we got a lot of star bits. Although I guess I actively tried to get them, so it's not like, you know, it's not disappointing or anything. It's just like, I thought, I thought it was a little bit tighter than this. I thought we would actually have to go grinding for star bits a little bit. Anyway, Sand Spiral Galaxy. Oh boy, choosing a favorite snack. I don't know. I just don't exactly vibe with the sand in this game. Oh, you know what? No, this is good. This is good. Spooky sand? Now that's the good stuff. Oh, I like it a lot. I didn't, I especially didn't like the uh, main sand galaxy. Dusty Dune is what it's called. Uh, I don't know. Just very basic. That dude is cutting us off at the pass. What are you doing? You're gonna die. Oh. That would've been real funny if I just jumped into the hole. Uh, well, I can't quite get you. Now we have a choice here of whether we want the B suit or the, or I guess, Boom Mario. Uh, looking at this, I think I'm gonna grab the B suit. I feel like most people go for the Boo, boo Mushroom in this mission, uh, but I see a lot less obst- Mario, you're the best, thank you. I see a lot less obstacles for B Mario specifically. I don't know, it's pretty tight, I suppose. I don't know, I'm just pretty dang sure everyone goes for Boo Mario. I, you also don't get to use it a lot. Let's let's switch it up. Boo Mario doesn't happen much. And there's also like water in this area, so I'm just gonna not deal with all that. Please, thank you. Look at that, hold on. Sling star? Oh, what if I had just floated up as Boo Mario, though? Oh, I remember. Th oh, this is so cool. I love this. It's bright because of the moonlight. That's a that's a moon? Ooh. I'm gonna get it. Skip part of the running section. I think you're gonna, supposed to st start all the way back there. I'm just gonna stutter, don't mind me. I don't think you have to have the rainbow star for all this, but I got it. Oh, I need that. Okay, well, paid with my life. Oh, that's one of the few times that you actually just go flying into the abyss and not into a black hole. Luckily, we love a checkpoint. We love a good checkpoint. Almost fell right in. Now, surely, I'm pretty sure that if you're an epic speedrunner gamer bro, you can probably skip most of this with, like, a well-placed jump, but, uh... Unfortunately, I'm not, so I'm not going to be doing that. It's like, one, like, I wonder how big the gravity of this moon is. Could you long jump from far away? It seems pretty dang tiny. Nothing on the bottom. It's worth checking. Yoink. It's not often you, like, run on an actual moon, which you think would be done a lot more in this game, but it's not. I think they did a lot more of that in Galaxy 2, actually, now that I think about it. 43 left. It's nice, we now have a constant countdown. Also, the star count did go up by one when I did the final level, by the way. It's not just like, it's not one of those things like in Mario 64 where you beat Bowser and it's a key, not a star, but no. It is an actual star. And I think I prefer it that way because I always found it weird when you have like all of the collectibles in Mario 64 when you haven't even fought the last Bowser. I don't know. Is that weird for anyone else? Because it feels like if I want if I want to get that full 100% completion like stat, I want it to be based on beating the last boss. Anyway, um, oh, the comet went away. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna do it anyway. There's a secret star here that we can get, so might as well yoink and maybe the maybe the purple coin comet would come back. I was kind of hoping to 100% this stage. Cataquack to the skies. So this one's a bit of a, not too well hidden. Again, it's just like a somewhat open world area. Open world. Yeah, this is Skyrim. 
open area, so it can be hard. Although you can see it just for a second over there. So what we want to do is go to that big old tree. Huh? Yep. Nothing but gamer moments over here. No. Okay. I'd swear I wasn't going to the right. It's like, what's the best way to do this? Because there's not like much of an intended path over there. There's also a bee suit, which I don't think you're even meant to get in this mission, really. So if I, hold on. If you shoot me. Okay, that sends me over here. Never mind, that works just fine. I'm gonna grab the bee suit. I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna pound this down because I don't know what it does. Star bits, that's what it does. I'm gonna let one of these boys yeet me up. And there's a little platform there that I can go to. And I can miss it as well. Or we could get the bubble, that works too. Actually, I think I'm supposed to do the bubble. Bonk. Yeah, this wouldn't have worked without it. Yeah, say hello to like the only other area you see this bubble mechanic other than the two galaxies it's used in otherwise. Yes, I said two. And it's like a rounded area, uh, I love it. I'm not gonna go for that. I just, ah! now I'm really not gonna go for that. I'm sure it's just like star bits. Gotta speed run that at the end. I love it, it feels so satisfying to control. You just gotta believe me on this. And it's even better with the the Joy-Con. I don't remember if when we went through the original like bubble, bubble float galaxy, whatever it was called. I don't remember if that was on the Wii or on the Switch. I, I wanna say it was the Switch. We didn't have a lot of Wii episodes, only like six. And we would have been like, I don't know, like very, it's just starting the fountain by then, I think. It's hard to tell, it's the same game. Cosmic Comet, okay. Well, since Goldleaf Galaxy doesn't want to spawn a comet, why not, to be honest? This is gonna be what, our, our fourth race, I think? Underwater Cosmic Mario, oh. Oh, underwater. Man, they really do a lot of underwater races, don't they? I mean, that's the entire gimmick of the galaxy, right? So it's not like I can be like, oh, there's a lot of races, I say, in the galaxy dedicated to races. Local man plays Mario Kart and is mad at how many races there are. Anyway, where is this boy? Right here? Cool. Let's see if I can do this right on the first try. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh, we're gonna win this first try for once. He's still like kind of right on our tail. I'm assuming he grabs a shell as well. Seems pretty safe to assume. Oh, I have I have a story about this song. So I went to Target, and uh, obviously, obviously, they're ad advertising the recent release. Oh, 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 almost missed it. They're advertising the recent release of Mario All Stars, 3D Mario All Stars. And that song, that Cosmic Mario song, for some reason, is the song that was playing on all of the TVs in the, like, in the electronics section. It felt like I was having a stroke of, of all songs. It couldn't have been, like, the night, like, it couldn't have been Mario 64 music. It couldn't have been any of the numerous calm songs in the game. No, it's the Cosmic Mario race that I'm listening to in a crowded, loud target. Uh... So yeah, that's my story. Anyway, New Galaxy appeared, because nothing else wants to appear. Oh, speaking of songs, Toy Time Galaxy. Ooh, this is a fun, ooh, do I want to start this in this episode? I mean, we have so much time left, I gotta give you a peek of the goods. I love this stage. Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser. If that doesn't give you get you excited. Yep, that's Bowser. What? I mean it has the necklace. <laughs> I don't know. I was expecting a Bowser. Hate to see it. Oh, this music. This music seems to always be the one that plays when I'm in the menu of uh, 3D All Stars. Welcome to the Toy Time Galaxy. We Guillermo's are in charge of upkeep and maintenance here. For what? 
Your tourism? We. Oui. I was tr trying to see how exactly annoying I could get that to be. If I remember correctly, I believe there's a stage in Mario Galaxy 2 that has this exact same theme, mainly because it was so well received, because it's, I don't know, look at it. This is the most colorful thing I've seen on Earth. My friends have been kidnapped. Aw, oh, sucks, there's toys everywhere. So <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Oh yeah, it's got this gravity mechanic too. It's like one of those stages where they were just like, ah, we got mechanics. Let's use all of them. It's unscrewing screws, gravity fields on the walls that you can just walk on up to, which does not happen often. I love it. I love it so much. If you see a bolt, give it a spin. There's also a ton of unique enemies only to this area, which is uh, absolute baller. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Scrap those fire-breathing turtle things with a healthy ground pound. Yep, didn't figure that one out on my own. Uh, that should send me down here. Cool. I don't know what this is for, but I'm gonna do it. This seems like the intended way forward. It's another one of those openish looking areas, so I wanna like look around before we do anything. Oh, okay. I think it's like if you're on that yellow block, you'll go over. See, look, what's all this? What's all that? Why are there so many different ways to go? Uh, seems dangerous, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I need the secrets, man. Cool. I don't, I don't know if that'll be helpful at all. Probably not. I don't think this is a boss level. I don't think there's a boss in this galaxy, so. Was that thing just to like, another screw? Oh, neat. Was that thing just a shortcut or what? Oh no, you actually have to go down. Well, hold on. Cause I'm gonna... Oh no! Okay. <laughs> no, we're good. Don't worry about it. Calm down, everyone. We're good. And out the straw, as it always looked like to me. Color-coordinated star bits. According to what color? Oh man. Oh no. Looking at this area. Oh no. Everyone's favorite power-up from this game. You transformed into Spring Mario. Why? There's a spring in between his legs. Everyone's favorite power-up. You know, the one that takes away control from you instead of giving you something cool and new. And then they decided, oh yeah, this will be the one I bring into Last Impact, of course. I, I, I hate to say it, this power-up was better used in the ROM hack of Mario 64 called Last Impact. I'm actually gonna take that hit on purpose because guess what? Can I get over this wall? Yes, I can actually. <laughs> I don't need Spring Mario. It's for, it's for jumping high, that's it. Everything else is like so much more annoying to pull off. Uh, so you know what? Yeah, I might need that life stream at this point because Spring Mario is so unwieldy and you only get to really control your direction once you touch the ground, and whatever direction you're going, you're kinda locked into it, and you have like no aerial momentum. Well, you have momentum, but you don't have like aerial control really at all. Hey, bit Mario, you love to see it. Reminds me of when they started putting a uh, 8-bit Luigi's in all these games, because it was the year Luigi, I think they did. That was when they did New Super Luigi Bros U. And they also put Luigi, 8-Bit Luigi, in a bunch of places in 3D World, which might have been... Was that the same year that those came out? Crazy. Anyway, let's get the Spring Mario. Yeah, it's it's better used in a Mario 64 ROM hack, mainly because it had more of a usefulness to it, I suppose. Instead of just being for a jump high, it also did wall jumps, which this version does not do. Unfortunately. Oh, it has teeth. Of course that's Bowser. How was I so blind? It's so obvious. Well, it's at least very cool. This music. What on earth? Can I just like... Oh, 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 e oh, oh, yep, I'm good. Don't worry about it. I'm assuming it wants me to screw these screws. Yeah, there we go. Wonder if the Sling Star would have appeared 
wherever I did that. Yeah. I don't know why, but it feels so... Hold on. I haven't used motion control spin in a while. I want to do that here. Oh, it feels so good. It's so satisfying to spin and undo one of those screws. I don't know what it is. I love it, though. Uh, what do we... Oh, that's not good. Oh, I see. Pipe. Die. There's a lot happening right there in that spot. It scares me. Down in here. Go. Bowser's inside story. No, it didn't take us in. That's unfortunate. Hello. I'm walking this way now. I want to say this might be the only area you hear the song. And it's got to be the least noteworthy song in the entire game. I, I got to say it. Bonk. Oh, there goes his arm. Oh, if you miss that, you're you're out of luck. You're dead. Oh, boy. Man, do I want to do it, though? Oh, there's a shortcut back all the way up here. I think... Hold on, first of all. What's behind its head? We'll never know, because they made an invisible wall. Good game design. Oh, no. Hold on, listen. You can definitely do this without the spring. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, yeah, I could still do that. See? It's like the spring doesn't even jump that high. Like, all of this you could do without the spring. It's nuts. It's absolutely crazy. Also, yeah, now, now it's Bowser's inside story. Wow. And then he just pops. They do not look happy. Well, they are burning. Good job, bonk. You did it. Guess I owe you a thanks. What's the secret dialogue? I thought we were done for. I gotta wonder how many people have actually read that because you're all the way out there. Yoink! Oh, I also love how the background looks like the, the walls of a children's room. Like, what a skybox. What a change of scenery, to be honest. I think we've got time for another one. Am I right? 80 stars also. Good count. That is th two thirds of the way there. Of course, these aren't going to be any shorter. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. No. Hmm. But yeah. I got to do the comets. I don't want to miss them when they're here. And we haven't done a purple coin yet, so. We did the cosmic Mario. That's what we did. So we're actually knocking out both of the comets in this episode, right? I think so. Purple coins by the seaside. I I want to say this is another one of the free roam, not timed ones. Oh, look at this. Bonkers, bananas, whatever. I... I'm going to keep saying it every single time we do a purple coin mission. I think this is one of the ones that has more than 100. Again, I'm probably just wrong. Because I absolutely do not remember. But there's so many here. So spread out. Like, they're spread out through the entire galaxy this time. So I could see this, like... I could see this one being like, all right, we got to give them a break, right? I like how you can blow up the balloon Or the balloons. The bubbles. With the star bit. To get the star bits inside. It's called allocation of resources. Did I hit it? I did not. I missed it. I got something, though. Oh, look at Captain Toad's spaceship just in the middle of it. Oh, man. Yeah. You know what? Oh, no. Oh, no. I think... Me opinion of these, uh, <laughs> of these comets might be slowly, slowly dwindling just a little bit. It sucks, because the one that everyone's like, oh, it's so hard, it sucks, is literally my favorite one out of all of these, and if we were to play that one, I would love it to bits and pieces. But these ones where it's really just like, you know what it is? It's the 100 coin stars in Mario 64, except not nearly as convenient. Because at least in those, you can get it a lot. You, you can't even hit a block as B-Mar- what? This is a power up? Which direction are we powering? Jeez. Um, at least in Mario 64, you can, like, 
do another mission, namely the red coins usually, while you're getting the 100 coins, this one's just like, well, time to waste your time. Not waste. I don't mean to be that harsh on it, but some of these are not epic gamer mode. But it's also like you gotta consider if they just made it a linear path, then what's the point of adding the, the purple coins? Because then it's... It, it defeats the purpose of it being... Of the purple coins being there. Because they might as well just put a star at the end of the linear path and call it good. So, I guess I get it. I guess I get it. It's weird. I just remembered these differently. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna get called out on that. Oh, he, he said he loved these and now he's stinking on them. Guess what? These, uh... These stars are pinking for a stink. I don't know. I'm gonna end that one before it goes too far. All right. So we are... Good news, guys. We're one third of the way there. Get excited, get your pogs ready in chat. Cause we're gonna do it. Oh, we're actually gonna be able to get up to the top of here. Why are the star bits in jail, by the way? Got, finally get to see the top of this. There's probably a one up. What is that flag? Surely that's something, right? I feel like you don't just make a design as, like, detailed as that, just willy-nilly. One up. No one up at the top, dude. They're slacking. If this were any other game, it'd be a one up. Oh boy, these are gonna be... F what was that jump? Why did that happen? Is there one over the pit? I wouldn't put it past him. I remember getting stuck on this so well, and one in a pit would be exactly the way to do that. Um, believe I got them all. Who's to say? Can you lift me down? Downsy, your lowering friend. What is up, Snorkel Toad? Guess that's your name now. Purple Toad is Snorkel Snorkel Toad. There are no purple coins in the ocean. This is, hold on. What, it's literally called the sea slide. Y'all need to make up your minds. This is an ocean now, they say. I mean, I guess if it's literally the only body of water in your planet, it's gotta be called an ocean. I don't know. Hey, what what's the parameters for something being an ocean? Cause I just realized I have no idea what that is. Doesn't look like there's any purple coins on that island in the middle. I do very much appreciate these little hints. Uh, makes searching around a lot easier. Especially if you're looking for the one coin that you might have lost. Got some purple coins for you. Thank you so much. Especially if you're looking for the one purple coin that you, like, missed. So at least you can talk to some of the characters and they'll be like, Ah, in case you forgot, there's nothing over there. Uh, which I can respect in a way, I suppose. 59. I keep looking at that coin count after I've rambled on for long enough. Cause this, listen, this is a rambling episode. This is a random rambling mission. Um, I keep looking at that coin count and I expect it to be so much higher every single time I look. Yet never, it never is. I was expecting to look down and I thought it was gonna be like 70. Nope, it was 59. So you do love to see it. Although we are nearly at 70 now. I'm scared of heights. Cool, good thing we're in space. <laughs> Glad you thought that career choice through. I don't know. Do Toads get to choose their careers? I'm pretty sure there's gotta be something in like the Mario and Luigi games where it hints that Toads do in fact choose their career. I mean, I almost wanna just jump into the water to see what's in that box, but I'm not gonna waste my time. Up here. I guess I had the time to do it though. I'm assuming all of the rest of the purple coin, no, I lied. All the purple coins aren't on this tree. Uh, okay. Oh boy. See, this is where I get hung up. I'm gonna have to try and work absolutely from bottom to top here and not go any higher than I need to because if I do, I'm gonna miss out on so many purple coins and I'm gonna spend an eternity going around this tree and getting them. This is the part that I remember. This is one of the parts. This is part number one that I always remember getting stuck on as a kid because these purple coins are just 
like suddenly scattered all around the tree. When normally it's just like they give you the linear path and you're Gucci. Pop, pop. Those reminds me of the little like fruits that hang off of a tree, uh, specifically in Pianta Village of Sunshine. And you gotta bring a Yoshi to get them. Look at that. Look at these purple coins all the way out here. If I just hadn't happened to look back here, would have been donezo. So there's one up there, one down there. I think I saw one. Yeah, there's plenty over there. I'm gonna have to start counting them. No, I think we got them all. Because we have nine left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, that's it. We did it. We managed to do... This is our first somewhat difficult purple coin mission. I managed to do it first try. I say as I'm about to plummet into a hole. Uh, actually, uh-oh. Another thing to consider that hasn't happened yet. You can die with 99 coins. And I'm gonna say this. It has not happened yet. And a boy really hopes it doesn't happen. All the way over there, are you joshing me? Okay, well, that's on the exact opposite. Man, how do you... Hold on. There's not a single path you could take getting these purple coins where that's your end that's your end point unless you like you would have to backtrack i don't get it but guess what there's no there's no shells in the water i think literally the fastest way to go would be to just spin and swim so i'm gonna do that all the way to the lighthouse i'll see you in an hour hmm was the commentary of this stage overly bitter? Maybe. Just sucks. It's one of my favorite stages, so it's like... I, I love the beachy stages because I think they're so well done aesthetically in uh, Mario Galaxy. Even even compared to Mario Sunshine, which like literally tr like spent so much time trying to perfect the beach level. And this one's just like, hold my beer. And it did it. Hold my bee. Er. Uh, anyway. Yeah, a little salty. A little salty that this uh, purple coin mission is the way it is. They really are the longest missions in the game. Oh, okay, I'm over here now. Yoink. Cool. That was a very long mission. Well, that's, uh, that's uh, gonna do it for this episode. In the next one, well, before I say what we're gonna do in the next one, I think it's about time we start looking at comets. Because uh, we're going to have to start backtracking through these older comets at some point. And uh, now might as well be the time. Well, I guess that answers your question. In the next episode, we're going to be doing... Well, we do have to do the secret star here. And then we're going to be doing some toy time. So I'll see you all then. And goodbye.